You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Or you could be a little baby no-coiner making a mess in your diaper. Wow, Ethereum has absolutely exploded to new all-time highs and is currently on track for another massive move. Is Ethereum going to hit our next target in the month of May and beyond? And the entire altcoin space has been gaining value rapidly as earlier today, Bitcoin dominance set another new low below 50% as altcoins reclaimed a $1 trillion market cap. Do you hear that? That is the sound of no-coiners all around the world gently weeping into their crusty little socks. Leave your host Stanley Sticky Fingers, and if you're seeing what I'm seeing on these charts, then your fingers are definitely pretty sticky as well. Absolutely insane, guys. Earlier today, we had Ethereum break to new all-time highs, and we saw altcoins across the board just absolutely gain in value. Let's give this a little refresh here. And as well, this is exactly what we've been expecting, and this is only just the beginning of the very beginning of a massive massive old resurgence as bitcoin even dipped its little toes currently it's you know right around 49.5 percent dominance the lowest that it's been in years and this trend looks very much to be continuing and we're seeing some very good signals and signs from alt across the board and i think over this new month we are about to see massive explosions and ethereum much past three thousand us dollars and much much more so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit those like, subscribe, turn on the button, and check, check, never miss these absolutely time-sensitive updates. And as well, guys, just a little over two days left until our five Ethereum competition in April comes to a close. Very big stuff. Yeah, and without any further, Google Gaga, let's jump in. Wow, are those bananas on your feet, or are you just excited to see me? Guys, we have so much to be jumping into today with Bitcoin's chart, and specifically these altcoins. So if we take a look at Bitcoin first, guys, this is, again, a very big level for Bitcoin resistance. Right on the six-hour chart, this is absolutely very big. It's a level we've been talking about, I've uh, just been looking for. This is the six-hour chart, the 50 moving average. This, was, this is just very important if we're going to maintain Bitcoin's momentum, because uh, if Bitcoin's able to break above here, then we have a pretty nice shot of, a, of approaching that all-important $57,500 level for Bitcoin, which will determine if Bitcoin is going to be setting some new all-time highs over the next few weeks and kind of going along with altcoins, or if altcoins are going to continue taking a slice of the pie out of Bitcoin and absolutely exploding on this chart. And as well, this is a big test for a lot of reasons. If we look on this one hour chart for Bitcoin, 55 is just pretty big, 55,000. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time here recently and it's coming into make or break mode. If Bitcoin's going to be able to, you know, finally break above this level concretely, or if we're going to actually get pushed back down below this 21 moving average on this one hour chart into deeper despair. And again, an even bigger fettuccine level here, you know, just because Bitcoin might break 55 doesn't mean it's out of the woods. We have to break 56 as well. And again, I think there's just a lot of different things Bitcoin has to do on these smaller time frames. That's uh, quite frankly, I think Bitcoin has uh, a decent road ahead of it over the next uh, few days and weeks because Bitcoin is, again, just not in a strong enough position compared to some of these alts. Uh, keep in mind, I'm extremely bullish on Bitcoin. Uh, absolutely. I think Bitcoin's going to be shattering $100,000 within the next month and a half. OK, month and a half, two months, actually. Let's push that out a little bit here whenever it has its next actual massive rally. And guys, let's keep in mind, we actually have not had a big move up since uh, kind of like the end of January. Uh, if we just kind of put this in perspective here, Bitcoin is just going straight up for the last three months of 2020 and the first three months of 2021. However, uh, during that second month of 2021, the beginning of February, Bitcoin, for the most part, has just found a lot of uh, found a lot of resistance. Guys, let's remember that Bitcoin touched on fifty eight thousand dollars back in the middle of February, and uh, only a few thousand dollars is what Bitcoin's been able to maintain above fifty eight thousand for very short periods of time before getting rejected at fifty eight, fifty seven, fifty six, obviously sixty thousand as well. And we see what happened. Okay, February fifteenth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the eleventh week where Bitcoin has really not been exploding to the upside. I would say the very last time we had an explosive move was again, the end of January or the middle of January into the middle of February. And ever since the middle of February or even the end of the first week in February, Bitcoin has just had a lot of trouble and we cannot say the same for altcoins, right? So for the last almost three months, Bitcoin has been facing a lot of resistance. Is that happening with a lot of these altcoins? No, it's not. Uh, they're actually, I mean, for example, ETH just set a new all-time high today. It's actually getting a little bit of a pullback right now around 20, uh, a little over 2,600. However, it's in a much stronger position, I think. So as well, Bitcoin dominance today set another new low 
Uh, it went all the way down to 49.95 on this chart. If we look at coin market cap. I think it went down a little bit lower than that. But yeah, you can see another new low. Last time it was this low was back as it was breaking above this back in August of 2018. Um, so a little under three years ago. This is the lowest Bitcoin dominance has been. And what's crazy is this is, I mean, for most people accounts, in my opinion as well, this is very early on in alt season. We still have a lot of alt season left, I believe, and a lot of people believe as well. And with that being said, if this alt season is not even anywhere close to being done as Bitcoin's already at 50% dominance, that's the, that's the huge question. And this is, again, my opinion's a little, um, I don't know, maybe extreme for some people. I'm not sure. I personally think that we're going to see Bitcoin dominance at least some point during this alt season go below its previous lows of 35%. Okay, I think at some point, and, and that might not even sound that crazy to say. I think a lot of people probably actually think that's probably not even a pretty crazy statement. Some people probably think it's going to go even lower than that. But uh, yeah, I think that Bitcoin at some point is going to be at least 35% dominance, which means which means that a lot of uh, market cap, at least temporarily, is going to be soaked up by altcoins. And uh, yeah, if we go to the entire altcoin market cap, we are well above our 21-day moving average. And um, yeah, back above a trillion again for the entire altcoin market cap. If we take a look at the entire cryptocurrency market cap as well, as of today, we are also above the 21-day moving average. Uh, I personally expect like, you know, overnight within the next 12, 16 hours, we're probably going to see uh, some really nice gains again, a really nice market move. You know, it kind of just comes in waves. And uh, ultimately, I think within the next less than 24 hours, we're going to see some pretty nice prices yet again. And uh, with all that being said as well, the DXY second day getting rejected at the 100 day moving average. And I think this is just a continuation of what is inevitable, I think, for the DXY to continue plummeting down here. Uh, and again, we take a look at the weekly chart, another rejection exactly at the 21 week moving average. So whether this takes another few days to play out or a little bit longer or sooner, I think it's kind of already uh, sealed the deal, squealed the deal. I think this thing's already definitely probably going to keep going down uh, there's no reason why I don't think it, it will stop going down. And again, that will spell good things for Bitcoin and altcoins in particular. But guys, again, the story that I've been saying here is that altcoins are just looking stronger. And if we take a look here, we're actually getting a bearish cross. We talked about this yesterday. Did we get it? Let's actually zoom in here. Yeah, so we got this bearish cross, the 21 going below the 50-day moving average on Bitcoin's chart. This is on Bitcoin's chart only. Uh, do any of these top alts have any of that? No. Okay, so this is Bitcoin's chart printing this. And um, yeah, this is something we just have to be careful with because if Bitcoin's not able to break above 57,500 and hold there for a few days, then I don't expect Bitcoin to really be making strong moves. However, meaning new all-time highs. However, as long as Bitcoin can stabilize above uh, above 50, 45,000 at the worst and you know just stay above this 100 day, uh, again, that'll just give altcoins room to keep making new all-time highs like Ethereum did today. But again, I think Bitcoin is just having a little more bearish signals right now. But as a whole, Bitcoin is incredibly fundamentally bullish. So even if it does continue this downtrend that it's been in, um, I don't think we're going to see any. Guys, I'll just say this. I don't think we're ever going to see a $30,000 Bitcoin again. I don't think we'll ever see. We might see a little bit below 40, I think worst case. I think absolutely worst case. But again, if that would happen, I think it would be very short lived. It would be a very quick wick, and it would not be anything. Uh, it would not be anything detrimental to the market. I don't think so. Uh, you have people calling for thirty or twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even think there's a chance that that could happen. Of course, I could be wrong. But uh, again, if that would happen, then then um, then honestly, I think everything would be different and we would have to be talking about a much different scenario. Um, and again, I think we're currently right around. This is actually really cool. I personally think right now with Bitcoin, it, I think we're very close to what the ultimate bottom if we have another bear cycle of where Bitcoin might bottom in the next bear cycle around 45 to 55,000 US dollars, I think is where Bitcoin might actually bottom. So with that being said, Bitcoin could go up to 200, 300,000 dollars this cycle. And if it gets that massive pullback from those levels, okay, let's just show you what this would look like maybe on this chart. Let's say that Bitcoin does go to, let's do it in the middle, 250,000 and gets a massive pullback, 80% drop. That would put us to about 45,000. So that's what I think is the best part about this cycle is I think we're in the phase now where um, uh, Bitcoin... Where it's at right now, uh, I just think that it's very unlikely that Bitcoin will ever go much lower than where we currently are. Like I said, we could dip slightly below 40K. And if we did that, I don't think we would ever go below 40K again if we did that one more time. Because uh, then afterwards, if we did hit 40K, I think we'd be shooting straight to six digits within a few weeks after that. But basically, my, my, my thinking here is that, you know, as long or currently where Bitcoin is, 
is, I think, kind of like the lowest Bitcoin will go, roughly. So you never miss these absolutely time sensitive updates, guys. Remember, only a little over two days left. We might add one more way to get an extra entry on here. Maybe even make it for like two or three bonus points or something. Make it absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, so make sure to do that to enter for the 5 ETH. And if you're interested in trading, if you're interested in getting a hardware wallet or uh, sign up bonuses or anything like that, make sure to check out our description below. We have all the max bonuses and everything on YouTube. And we don't need for you to do for me, my brain.